Good evening, people. Good evening. Hey, how are you? How are you this night? How do you feel? and you. I'm very good. Thank you for asking. Welcome, Nevi. Sandra Guadalupe. We have Blanca. Welcome, Kevin. Adrián. Welcome. Who else we have? Hey, good, good evening. Welcome. We have Marisa. Welcome to your class. We have Melba, Melba Patricia. Who else we have? Welcome, guys. How was the day? Full of activities. Yes, hardworking. <laughs> yes. Eso no se nos termina, miss. Never finish. It's true. Never, never. Never. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. You see, no relaxed time. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> the relaxing time that does not exist and then you go to your house and you have to do other activities right clean you have to wash cook so never finishes this life right you never finish the activities welcome Evelyn Yesenia we'll continue remember Thank that you. Welcome, girl. Remember yesterday we were with our simple present. We saw about our affirmative manner. We also saw the negative. And we saw that in the negative, we need auxiliary, right? It depending on the subject that you have. Let's remember that part. If you have the subjects I, you, we, and they, what form of the verb do we need? Drive, drive. Drive, correct. And what is the form of the verb? What is the form? Is it the base form or the S form? What is the form? Remember that we have two forms, right, in the verb when you use the simple present, but depends on the subject that you have. So what is the form of the verb? Uh, the forma normal means no se le modifica. Exactly. So you have the base form of the verb with I, you, with they, or you also have a plural subject, right? In the case of the third person form, we have the subject he, she, and it, or a singular, right? Singular subject. What is the form of the verb? We need to include the S to the verb. For example, when you had this one, I walk to school, you have subject I, base form of the verb. You ride your bike to school, base form of the verb. But now we have third person. He works, include the S. She takes, take is the base form, but include the S to the third person. We live is plural. We have we, base form of the verb. Or they is plural, third person, but plural. You use the base form of the verb. Now, in the negative, we were explaining that it's necessary to include the auxiliary, also depending on the subject. If you have I, you, we, and they, we need to use don't or do not if it's complete, right? But if it's contraction, you say don't. You don't live. I don't live. We don't live. They don't need. Third person, he doesn't work. She doesn't drive. Now, as you have auxiliary, you have the verb in the base form. Why? Because you have auxiliary. Miss? So the auxiliary? Yes, tell me. En el caso entonces ahí se le agrega el auxiliar, pero That's no correct. al verbo. Ajá, pero ajá, es que no al verbo, together. porque word sería, sería igual, ¿verdad? No se le agrega la S. That is correct, because you have auxiliary. For that reason is that the name is auxiliary, because this helps the verb. Este le auxilia al mm -hmm. verbo mm -hmm. a transformarlo en tercera persona. Entonces mm -hmm. ya no necesito el verbo en tercera persona. Es como mm -hmm. explicábamos ayer, con el auxiliar de pasado. Que el auxiliar es did, pero es negativo, ya me voy con el verbo en forma base, porque el auxiliar ayuda al verbo. 
y lo transforma en esa manera. Soy super person form. Una pregunta. We, yes. we y they son terceras personas. No, only we. Yeah. We. Oh, we, oh. we es cuando nos referimos a nosotros, pero they oh. es tercera <coughs> persona, pero plural. Porque uh -huh. decimos ellos, ¿verdad? Yo no estoy incluido en el grupo. Sí. Ellos. Esta es, per, es tercera. Uh -huh. We, no, viene siendo en primera uh -huh. persona porque yo estoy incluido. Uh -huh. Es como I. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. es segunda. Como I. Ah, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. I es primera. Okay. You es segunda. Right? We también es parte de primera porque yo estoy incluido en el grupo. Y de ella no estoy incluida, entonces es ellos. Tercera. Pero, okay. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Any other question? Welcome. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening, Aaron. Welcome. Fine. Very good. We are here, like, trying to remember about our simple present. Fine. Remember that also we saw these examples, right, with the affirmatives, with the negatives, the auxiliaries that we use do and does. Do not, in the case of negative, for the pronouns I, you, we, and they. Okay. Or does or does not for the pronouns he, she, and it. Now, remember that you have an exercise in the platform. And you have the instruction, complete the sentences with the correct verb forms. So as we remember, the verb goes depending on the subject that you have. For example, you have in conversation one, my family and I, and you have two options, live or lives? Live. Live. Base form live. or S form? Base form. Base form, Base form wow. right? Why? Why? Porque estamos hablando de nosotros. Estamos hablando de nosotros. Perfect. We, we, right? Uh -huh. Es mi familia y yo. So it's we. Uh -huh. Ajá, that's correct. So we put on this position on, on this one. My family and I is we. So the form of the verb drive. So it's like the verb live. My family and I live in the suburbs. And there you have other conversations, right? In the platform uh, with that with that exercise. Now, let's see uh, some other examples with irregular verbs. Do you remember irregular verbs? What are those? What are irregular verbs? They change, right? When you have irregular verbs, they are different than the regulars. Because in the simple past, you modify. Pues las identificamos es que cuando transformamos al pasado, estos cambian su forma. No como los regulares que al transformarlos al pasado, llevan simplemente ED. Pero estos no, estos van a cambiar. So these are some examples. We have the verb bet. What is bet? You told me the last time I remember. What is bet? The Flintstones. Apostar. Yeah, apostar. You said, remember? <laughs> you said about the Flintstones. I remember. Yes, you told me. <laughs> what about go? Very common, go. Beer. That's good. Beer. Drink. Drink. Brincar, no. No, that no. is jump. Oh, no, it's jump. Yeah. Bring, that means traer. Traer, bring, oh. build, traer, digo, la de arriba. Bring, bring means traer. Build, construir. construir, construir. That's good. Buy, comprar. comprar. Great. Feed, feed is like a, if you have a baby. You give food to the baby. You give Gerber. You give an apple to the baby. And the baby eats. So what is the action? You give food. Es un sinónimo. No, Alimentar. it's an action. Solo para bebés. How do you say? 
Sandra, Solo es hacer alimentar. Alimentar. Not only for babies, it's in general. Ah. It's in general. Alimentar, dar comida. You can feed your, no uh, your comer. Dog. Dar de no comer. comer. No. O sea, that is it. Ajá, correcto. O sea, that is it. Yo puedo tener una mesa y los alimento, ¿sí? Ajá, but that's feed. Si yo hago la acción de alimentar a alguien, es porque de mi cuenta corre que la persona coma o que un animalito coma. Alimentar. Ah. Yes. Uh -huh. Feed. The other case will be eat. That will be the action. Comer. Eat. So feed means alimentar. Feed the baby. Feed the cat. Feed the parrot. Feed the dog. So it's give food. Dar comida. Feed. Fight. What is fight? Pelear. Pelear, luchar. It's very common in video games. Yes. Yo sé los hombres contestaron, mi Ajá, yes, I know. They always say, hey, fight, pelear. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Why? <laughs> fly. What is fly? Volar. Ah, Volar. That's great. You can fly on a helicopter. What else? Any other transportation? On an airplane? Ah, that's good. Ah, by an airplane. That's good. What about tell? Decir. Decir o contar. All right. Contar. You can tell. What is it possible to tell? A gossip. Un chambre. Tell a gossip. Tell a story. A legend. Tell la ciguanaba legend. Tell. So that is decir o contar. Relatar also. That's tell. But not about numbers. Contar números es diferente. That one will be count. Um, count. Like this. Count. In the case of, for example, count money. Contar dinero. That's a different context. What about teach? Enseñar. Enseñar. Pero de impartir una materia, right? No de enseñar, de mostrar algo. That is different. That will be show. Que viene casi siendo lo mismo que teacher, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. De ahí proviene. De ahí Ajá, proviene. Correcto. Generalmente, cuando queremos eh, decir quien desarrolla la acción, va a llevar un ER, una ER agregada al verbo. That's why you say teach. Teacher. teacher. Fight. Ajá. Fight. Fighter. Luchador. Pero no todo, ¿verdad? No todos se utilizan así. Because you cannot say, for example. Eh, Pero no se aplica solo a los verbos irregulares, es a todos. Mismos. No, eso es en general. En forma general. Es en general, correct. Here you can say also like either. Have you seen like uh, some of the competition of pupusas? Esos concursos de los comelones de pupusas. Those are the eaters. Los comelones. Eat. Equals. <coughs> eater. Comelón. Los que comen algo. Pupusas, eater. Eh, sandwiches, eater. So we have these verbs. But these are only some of the examples, but we have a big list. Hay una gran lista, right? This is just a, an example. Now, we have an exercise here with some of the irregular verbs. And we're going to complete it. But first, let's see. It says, I, you, we, and they. I have a bike. In the third person, you have, let me show, yes. He, she, it, my father has a car. So the verb have in the base form, you modify in the third person to has. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. Now the verb do, base form in the third person, does. My parents go to work by bus. 
No lo entendemos. Hello. There is an audio. Help me with the audio, please. Let me check. Creo que ahorita ya no lo escuchan. No, ya no. ¿Ya se escucha bien? Ok. Ahorita ya no. Ok. So we do, the third person is das. Why? Because my mother is a she. My parents go to work by bus. Now, my parent is like that, right? You're using the subject, they. Base form of the verb. Third person goes. Why? Because the subject now is the bus. It's like it. It goes downtown. Now, let's complete the exercise. It says, Ashley is talking about her family. And her friend Jason. Complete the sentences. Then compare with a partner. Let's start. Number one. My parents have a house in the suburbs. We're going to continue to complete. Maybe start please. My mom. My mom and I. My mom and dad. Go. Hey, now. Uh -huh. Go. Go. Aha. Uh -huh. Base four, right? Because my subject is plural, is my mom and dad, two persons. Go downtown to work. To work. Ah, that's good. Go downtown to work. Thank you. Good. I don't continue. My parents. My parents are the audio. The audio, I don't. Activate the audio. I don't. You need the, um, to activate the audio. Sorry, Thank sorry, you. sorry. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> My parents are very busy. Busy. Very busy. 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 Okay. So? So I does... I. Subject I. So I does... Do. Because remember, does, he, she, and it. Oh, sorry. Yes. I do... Base form. I do... I, I do, do a, lot, a lot of work at home. At home, that is correct. So now, as the subject is I, I need to use base form of the verb. That's right. Good one. Judy, continue, please. Number two. <clears throat> okay. My brother doesn't live with uh, you. With us. With us. With us. With That's good. us. He has Excellent. an apartment in the city. That's correct. Thank you, Sandra Guadalupe. He has an apartment in the city. He he goes, goes. to school all day. He goes, he goes uh -huh. to, to school all day. All day. Good one. Thank you, Sandra Margarita. Continue, please. Sandra Margarita, are you present? Yes. Yes. Okay. And, he, and he does office work at night. Excellent. That's good. We got third person. He does office work. All right. Let's continue. Kevin, please. Number three. I have a new friend. That's great. I have a new friend. Excellent. Thank you. Kenya Vanessa, continue. His name is Jason. His, his name? His, his name? name is Jason. Jason. No, Jason. 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 Okay. We? We, we are. Uh, no. no, you need to use one of these options. Go or goes? Um, we... Go. Go. Excellent. Base form because you have we. We go to, to the same school. That's correct. We go to the same school. Thank you. Let's continue. Fernando, please. We go to the same school. And sometimes? And sometimes we do. We do. Perfect. Or homework together. Together, that's correct. Very good job. Nice. Okay, observe that all of these verbs they are irregular. And you conjugate 
depending on the subject that you have. Now we're going to repeat this one. Let's see, let's continue. I don't, we're going to read number one. Read it please. My parents. My parents have a house in the suburbs. In the suburbs. Thank you. Continue. Melba. My mom. My mom and dad go downtown to downtown? work. Downtown? Downtown to work. Thank you. That's good. Glenda, continue, please. My parents. My parents are very uh, busy, so busy? I do. Busy? Busy, so I do. I a do? Lot, a lot of work at home. A lot of work at home. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Rafael, continue with number two, please. Rafael, are you present? I present. Yes. Can you repeat, um, please? Okay. And number two. That will be number two, yes. My brother dies. My, like uh, with... my brother doesn't. Does, doesn't. Doesn't. Doesn't live. Like, live. Like with... Live. Live. Doesn't live. Live. Uh-huh. Live. With... With us. us. Uh -huh. With us. With us. He... He has... That's good. Um, apartment in the city. Thank you. That's good. In the city. That's correct. Good one. Eh, Blanca, continue, please. He goes. <laughs> he goes. Uh -huh. eh, to, to school. I all day. day. All, all day. day. All day. Um, he does. He does. He does. Of office, of office work and at night. Office work at night. Very good. Thank you, Evelyn Jesenia. Continue, please, with number three. Evelyn Jesenia, are you present? Yes, yes, yes. teacher. All right. Let's I repeat. have a new friend. That's good. His name is Jason. We go to the same school and sometimes we do our homework together. Together. Excellent. That's very good. Nice. Okay. Do you have questions? Questions with this exercise? No questions? Teacher, I have yes. a question. Tell me, Kevin. What is busy? Busy. Busy means when you are full of activities. For example, imagine that in the morning you say, I know I have to do homework, I have to go to work, I have to do like a report. So you are busy, full oh, of activities. Okay. So what is busy? Okay, what is, thanks. What is busy? Ocupado. Exactly. Uh -huh. Ocupado. Uh -huh. O ocupado. Solo ocupado. Es como una manera general del adjetivo. Si okay. queremos poner más énfasis, entonces decimos very busy. Very busy. Any other question? No? No, teacher. No? Okay. Let's continue then. We're going to pass the attendance list. Just let me know if you are present, please. Okay, let's start. Aaron. Aaron Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Alba Marisol. Alba Marisol. No present. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you. Elmer Edenilson. Elmer Edenilson. Evelyn Yesenia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Fernando de Jesus. <clears throat> present, present, present. Thank you. Present. Glenda Guadalupe. Glenda Guadalupe.
Juan Alberto. Juan Alberto. Present? Present. Yes, thank you. Genia Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Adrián. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. María Emilia. María Emilia. I dice ah, present. Yes. She's a uh -huh. listener. Yes, thank you. Ahí contestó en el chat. Thank you so much. Melba Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Nevi. Nevi Vázquez. Present miss. You're present. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Present miss. Thank you. Rebecca Vanessa. Good evening. I'm here. Thank you. <coughs> Sandra Guadalupe. Present miss. Thank you so much. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Marioris. Jacqueline, are you present? No? And Judy Edith. Present me. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, let's continue then. Okay, so we were here with this exercise. Now we're going to watch the video. And this video, it has to do with statements with irregular verbs. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn... Everything okay with the video? Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. Yes. Form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs, regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case, we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves. Have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left-hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, or it, these verbs, have, do, and go, will change. And they change as follows. Have equals to has, do equals to does, go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with 
my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now, it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. All right, watch the video there. We saw some examples. Do you have questions about the video? Referring the video? No? Okay, so let's have here. As in the video was mentioning, we have two types of verbs. We have regular and irregular verbs. Irregular verbs, you know that they modify. Now, in the case of the irregular, for example, you have have, has, in the third person. Do or does, third person. Go, goes. But depending on the subject, for example, I go to the store by bike. You have a huge house. Huge means enormous, very, very big. That is huge. We do chores in the morning. My pets play with their toys. Now, what is the form of the verb? Because you have the subject, I, you, we, and they, my pets, is like they, right? Plural, but their person in the plural manner. What is the form of the verb? Regular. They are irregular verbs, but the form of the verb, what is the form of the verb? Is it uh, in the S form or base form? Base form. Is the base form, right? Because you have the subjects I, you, we, and they. Now let's check in the third person. The third person singular is also recognized as S form. For example, Martina goes to the music academy. What is the subject? Martina. She, right? Is Martina. Sí. Martina is the subject. If you want to substitute, that is she. What is the verb? Oh, oh, go. Goes, right? As is third person singular, go is the base form, but third person includes ES. Goes. Samantha does a great job at the company. Samantha is my subject. Thus is the verb with the third person. So you have do, base form. Third person, thus. Richard has. You have Richard has friends in Spain. What is the subject? Richard. Richard, excellent. The verb has. So it's not Richard have us, right? Richard has. And you have a compliment here. Questions about this? Teacher. Tell me. How do you say chores? Chores. Chores in Spanish it means like the activities that you in your house to clean it. Los quehaceres. Los quehaceres del hogar. So we use we do. Hacemos los quehaceres. En la mañana. Now you use okay, us, okay. but it's the third person. Welcome. Any other question? Toys. Me. Toys. Kids have toys because they play with the toys. A ball is a toy. What is it? Juguetes. Tus juguetes, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. They are toys. Mm -hmm. Toys. Toy Story. <laughs> like toys, exactly. For that reason, it's like Toy Story. Es historia de juguetes. <laughs> Any other question? No? No, me. Okay, now let's practice it. You are going to give me other examples. But we are going to use other verbs.
Let me erase this one and you will give me different examples with this ones, with these verbs. Teacher. Tell me. I have a question. Tell me your question. En el caso de eh, todos los grupos, desde los que están de las, desde las ocho, nueve, nueve, diez, nueve, diez, son dos, ¿verdad? Two groups. Sí. Ah, eight to nine and nine to ten. De siete a ocho hay otro grupo. Eh, sí, sí hay otro grupo, pero sí, no, no sé quién lo, lo imparte. Deben impartirlo otro teacher, pero no estoy segura si es el mismo nivel. Y todo, todos, vamos, vez, todos, sí. vamos, todos vamos viendo la, la misma, la misma sí. lección, la misma, la misma, vamos en sintonía o no. Siempre se imparten los mismos temas, solo que con algunos grupos, a veces si es más grande el grupo, pues se tarda un poquito más uno, ¿verdad? Por la, que todos participen, pero son los mismos temas. Pero a veces se puede atrasar que tal vez un tema nada más. Ok. Pero es, de hecho, de 8 a 9 vamos iguales. Ahorita vamos al mismo ritmo. Okay, I got the verbs. We're going to use these verbs. Bet, feed, begin, fight, bring. This depends on the subject that you use. Also this one. We have fight, bring, build, tell, buy, teach, and fly. Give me examples, please. Rebecca, give us an example with bet. Use different subject. I bet, you bet. I bet. Mm -hmm. Bet money, right? You can also bet food. También se puede apostar comida, right? <laughs> I bet uh, mm -hmm. 100. Mm, okay. I bet $100. $100. In the casino. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe give us another example. Now with feed. Use a different subject. I feel. Different subject. No, I. You can use uh, you, we, they. You can use my friends, my mother. They feed. They feed. Uh, a his babies. They feed? A here babies. They, right? Because you are using the subject they. Yes? Muy yes. Bien. Recordemos acá que el posesivo va a ir de acuerdo they. al sujeto, right? That's Correct. good. Ellos alimentan a sus bebés. That's good, yes. okay. Their babies. Very nice. They feed their babies. Kenya, give us another one with begin. Begin, empezar, iniciar, comenzar. Um, oh, I. Right, you can use you. Use a different subject. Um, you begin. Mm -hmm, okay. In the class. You begin. You begin the class, empiezas la clase, you begin the class, and you can give a specific hour. What time? What time do we begin the class? Right, right now. now. We begin the class right now. 
or give a time, give an a specific hour. Seven o'clock. At nine. Tonight. At nine o'clock. Yes. At nine o'clock. <coughs> So we begin the class at nine o'clock. That's good. Let's see with fight. I don't give us an example with fight. Different um, subject. They fight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Try to use different, different, please. Because you have the subject. I, they, you. We can use we, for example. They fight. Um... Just we. We we change different different songs. Oh, we we, we fight, fight we fight. We fight. Um, we, uh, we fight. We can use a, a complement like in a place, for example. We fight in the street. We fight um for the video games. No, que quería decir eh, pelear, como se podría decir, una, una batalla. Ah, una a guerra. battle. Ah, right, that's good. A battle. A battle. Una batalla. Okay. That's good. We fight a battle. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is true. Nice. Let's continue then with Blanca. Thank you, teacher. It's my pleasure to do that. Blanca, can you listen to us? Está como oyente, dijo, yes, teacher. Right. Creo yes, que tuvo problema true. con la máquina. It's true. Thank you. Judy, help us, please. Now you're going to use bring. Remember uh, what's bring? What? Uh, no, no. No? Traer. I don't remember. Traer. Traer. Mm -hmm. Use third person, please. Can be he, she, or it. Okay. Javier, ¿se puede usar la, el, el Sure, excellent. A specific person, yes. Javier. Traer, me dijo, ¿verdad, mí? Ajá, that's correct. Um, Javier, trae. Javier, bring. What do you need in the book? Eh, Because it's a third person singular. What is necessary to include? La, la, um, esa es. The S, right? Bring. That's correct. Brings. Correct. Yes. Javier bring uh, the homework. Ah, that's good. The homework. Every day to give a compliment, right? Every, every day. Very good job. Nice. Every day. Javier brings the homework every day. Right. Okay. Now let's use build. Juan Alberto, give us an example, please. Build. Juan Alberto, are you present? No. No está conectado tampoco. No, right. Dicho. It's not connected, right? Yes, yes, true. Thank you, Kevin. Estaba, tengo un mensaje, mandó un mensaje, pero no estaba... Mm. Creo que iba a estar solo de... Iba yes. a estar de oyente. Okay, thank you. Sorry, okay. Um, they build... They build... Uh, Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya estoy aquí. The <laughs> house. The Welcome. The house. They built. Ah, okay. They, they built, built the house. The house in the camp. Mm, that's good. They built the house in the camp. Eh, if you're referring to campsite, campsite is como el, el área de campamento. Is that what you mean? Yes. yes. O en el campo. Si se refiere no, a que es... En... Ah, ok. Then is correct. Campsite. Porque si es Camp en el campo, sería okay. como can... countryside. Okay. But that's good. Yes. The house in the campsite. Very good. Now let's use with tell. Let's see Sandra Guadalupe. Example with tell. Now use third person, please. We can use he, she, or it. Okay. She tells mm -hmm. him the poem. He tells him 
de poem. Quiero Ah, decir, ok. ella dice Listo. el poema. Ella le dice a él el poema. Yes? Ella dice, ajá. That's good. Because you Sí. have him. Este him es quien recibe la información. Tells him. Le dice a él. ¿Qué le dice? A él. El poema. Oh, that's good. She tells him the poem. That's all right. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Let's continue then with uh, Evelyn, Yesenia. Now with bye, please. Okay. Uh, my brother and I buy a car. Excellent. That's good. My brother and I buy a car. Let's suppose that you put a routine. Buy a car and twice. Or once, once a year. This expression, once a year, that means una vez al año. It's an expression of frequency, of a routine. So you see that you change the car once a year. Mi hermano y yo compramos un carro una vez al año. That's good. So you change, you modify the car. Nice. Thank you, Evelyn. Let's continue now with teach. Let's see, let's continue with um, who can help us. Rebecca, Rebecca Vanessa, help us with teach. He teach. Uh, he teach. Uh -huh. In this case, we're going to include ES. Teaches. Okay. Teaches, correct. Todo verbo que termina en CH. O si este termina en SH, también va a aplicar con IS. Es así como go, porque termina en una letra O. Do es otro, que no solo va like a dos, right? No, que es das. It's with IS. Go is not goes, it's goes. Si termina en CH, digo O. O una SH. SH, ok. Ajá. O también se la agrega es la palabra que terminan en la O, ¿verdad? Así como go. Que observamos que lleva goes. Siempre le vamos a agregar esa es. If it's third person, yes. Si nos referimos a tercera persona, sí. Mm. Each and each. Ahora, si va con los demás sujetos, I, you, we, and they, no. Solo va a ir forma base del verbo. We mm. teach, they teach, you teach. But this is the person. So you need to include the yes. Okay. Teaches. He teaches. Korean to my sister. He teaches, can you repeat, please? Korean to my sister. Ah, that's good. He teaches Korean to my sister, right? Yes, right. right. Good one, thank you. He teaches Korean to my sister. That's nice. We have the simple present referring to their person. Now let's use the form of fly. Melba, can you help us, please? Just mm. fly. The birds fly oh. fat. That's good. The birds fly fast. That's correct. Now, the subject here is singular or plural? What's the subject? The birds fly fast. Is singular subject or plural subject? Plural. It's plural, right? Excellent. If plural. you want to substitute the birds, what subject do you use? It. Exactly. Uh -huh. Si yo quiero decirlo en singular, solamente le quito la S. Perfect. You will use the birds, but now it changed to the person, the verb. It will be flies. But here, what subject pronoun do you substitute the birds? They. They, it. because it's plural. Vamos a utilizar el it cuando es singular, solo singular. They, ajá, they me va a funcionar en general. O sea, they no es exclusivo para personas. Este es de manera general. Animales, cosas, lugares, whatever you want to talk about in plural. But if it's singular, then you say it's it. 
for one animal or for one thing. Yes. Okay. Let's como, repeat como it. Sorry? This one is referring como to dijo. to plural. If you want to substitute the birds, it will be they. They fly very high, for example. Ellos vuelan muy alto. Acá podemos utilizar they porque como ya sabemos a qué sujeto nos referimos, ya no es necesario repetir como the birds fly fast, eh, the birds fly high, right? Para evitar la repetición podemos utilizar un sujeto pronombre. They fly. Y si lo, quiero, si lo quiero decir entonces en singular, it's fly. It slow. flies. It flies. It flies. It flies, it flies high. Fly. Vuela. It for flies. Ex, for example, like this. If you huh? want to say the it's... eagle um. flies very high. Pero acá el verbo me va a cambiar. Termina en una Y, sustituyo la Y, pero la reemplazo por una Y latina y agrego IS. So, no, no simplemente va a llevar la S en el verbo, sino sustituye. Eso es co así como study. Study no va a llevar nada más solo la S, sino que sustituyo la Y yes. por una Y latina. Flies. The eagle. What is an Cuando eagle? Solamente es uno, mes. When is only one, exactly. Porque acá me refiero a tercera persona singular. Ahora, si sustituyo la eagle, ¿cuál sería el sujeto pronombre? Si sigo hablando del mismo animal, ¿cuál sería el, el it, sujeto? It's it, perfect. Because it. now it's singular. Now you have singular manner. It flies very high. Okay, now we're going to practice this one. Nevi, start. Repeat this one. I bet $100 in the casino. I bet $100 in the casino. Dollars. Dollars. Dollars in the casino. Nice one. Kevin, they feed their babies. They feed their babies. Nice. Sandra Guadalupe, you begin the class at 9 o'clock. Sandra, Guadalupe. Perdón. Okay. Okay. You, you begin, begin the class? class at nine o'clock. O'clock, very good. Kenya Vanessa, we fight a battle. We fight a battle. Nice. Blanca, Javier brings the homework every day. Javier bring, bring. brings, the, brings, brings, brings the home. Homework? Homework <laughs> every day. Every day. That's good. Yes. I don't continue. They build the house in the campsite. They build the house in the campsite. Very good. Rebecca Vanessa. She tells him the poem. She tells him the poem. Nice. Judy. Judy Edith. My brother and I buy a car once a year. My brother and I buy a car once a year. Once a year. A year. That's good. Thank you. Melba, continue. He teaches Korean to my sister. He teaches Korean to my sister. He teaches Korean to my sister. Ah. He teaches Korean to my sister. That's all right. Good one. Let's continue, Fernando. The birds fly fast. The birds fly fast. They fly very high. They fly very high. The eagle flies very high. The eagle flies very high. That's good. Any question about this? Questions? How do you say? Time eagle. To, to question. Eagle. Eagle is an animal. Very intelligent. It's a bird. What's an eagle? Aguila. Aguila. 
Aguila. Uh -huh. That's very intelligent oh. animal. Okay, Homework. thanks. My pleasure. Yes. Homework, teacher. Homework is the activity that we assign. For example, the teacher normally assigns you homework. It's an activity that you supposedly do in your house. Yes. Uh -huh. Trabajo en casa. Exactly. Es una tarea. <coughs> Miss, casi no, yes. no me quedo claro. No me quedo claro en esta de Chitil Kim Tipoen. Mm. Ese Kim. Este. Him. Ese sí no, no me quedó claro porque no lo entendí. Ok, good. She is the subject. Tell is the verb, is the action. The and him is a receiver. En muchas ocasiones, en una oración, hay quien recibe la acción del sujeto. En este caso, mi sujeto es she. ¿Qué es lo que realiza she? ¿Qué hace she en este caso? ¿Cuál es la acción? Está diciendo. Dice, ¿verdad? Dice, no diciendo, porque si no decía eh, telling. Dice. Yes, ah, tells. Okay. Dice o cuenta. Puede ser cuenta. En este caso, poema, pues contamos un poema, decimos un poema. Pero a veces no necesariamente uno solo dice algo. Se lo puede decir a alguien en específico. O sea, en alguien recae una acción. En, esta, en este ejemplo, ¿en quién recae la acción? ¿Quién recibe la información? Sí. En él, correct. Ahora, como él recibe la información, no puede ser, sería incorrecto decir, eh, she tells, tells he, sí. the poem, porque tienen diferentes funciones. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Sí. Sí, porque ella es la sí. que dice o cuenta. La que lo está diciendo, ¿ok? Ella lo dice, ajá, uh -huh. o lo relata o lo cuenta. Pero he es un sujeto y no es ella cuenta a él, sino que ella le cuenta a él. De él a él hay una gran diferencia. ¿De y si no realiza? fuera él, si ajá. fuera en ese caso ellos, ¿cómo ah, sería? Then it would be them. Yeah. Les cuenta a ellos. Eso se les, se les llama object pronouns. Los object pronouns son aquellos que reciben la acción, no la realizan. El que realiza la acción siempre es el sujeto. Y ese va a ir antes del verbo. Thank you, Así Miss. como acá. Miss, ¿por qué no se... My pleasure. Yes. Miss, ¿por qué no se utiliza el him? Him. Tells to him. Tú. Oh, el tú. Good question. Hay algunos de los verbos que no, va, no necesita de utilizar eh, una preposición. Acá, indirectamente, después del verbo tell, me voy a ir al sujeto quien recibe la acción. No necesito utilizar she tells to him, she tells to me, she tells to you, he tell you. La expresión, eh, hay una expresión, eh, tell me, eh, bien común, ¿verdad? Tell me, tell me your name. Dime tu nombre. No es tell to me your name. Es por regla, por regla general que después de este verbo tell, inmediatamente mencionamos quién va dirigida la información. Entonces decirlo así no sería correcto. It's incorrect. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. It's very incorrect. Thank you. En lugar de eso se puede utilizar el verbo say. Que ese también es común. Con este sí puedo utilizar yo la preposición to. Say to me. Say your name to me. Dime tu nombre. ¿Qué significa say, say teacher? Decir. Um, Pero aquí ya uh, no cuenta como contar. En cambio, tell es como más completo. Uno cuenta algo, relata algo. <coughs> say your name to me. Incorrecto sería con el verbo say, es decir, directamente. Say me. Say me. I am going to say you. I say you. No, incorrect. Say your name. Porque uno dice algo a alguien. To uh -huh. me, to my sister. I say uh, my telephone number to my friend. Uh, no, say my friend. No. Say to my friend. Decirle algo a alguien. So, ellos siguen diferentes reglas. 
It depends on the verbs. Name. Yes. Okay. Say your name. Say your name to me. Or tell me your name. Si quiero utilizar tell, entonces directamente después de tell, utilizo el, el object pronoun. Tell him. Tell me. Tell you. Tell them. Yes. Any other question, guys? No, thank you. No. Thank you so much. Tomorrow we'll continue practicing this. Because we continue with here. All right. So have a beautiful night, guys. Okay. Have sweet dreams. Have a good night. Good thank night. you so much for everything. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Thank you. You too. Drink with the good angels, night, guys. everybody. Take care.